Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial for Billy Joel's New York State of Mind. Uh, what can I say? This is about how advanced pop piano can get mixing in all kinds of extension chords, licks, bluesy moves, jazzy chord voicings and whatever. And uh, well, I'm gonna show you the intro of the song over here because there are so many information in there already. And also those chords are used in the rest of the song for the majority of the song. So once you get that down, the rest of the song won't be that much of a problem. It's gonna sound a little something like this. Here we go. Something like that. I may have made a little mistake. Sorry for that, but I will show you the exact correct part um, as we go along. First of all, the chords, a little bit of licks in between. Note for a general remark that if you know the chords and you got those underneath your fingers, then there's going to be a lot of stuff in between the chords that is, you know, actually just wiggling around and breaking up those chords. So first chord, uh, the first, yeah, with a little lick over there because it's signature and not difficult. Okay, so start on a G. Then you slide from that A flat to an A to a C. And back to an A. And then we're going to go to the first chord, D minor 9. Regular D minor at the 7 and the 9 over there. And then you have this voicing for your right hand, F, A, C, E, left hand Ds. just set in the chord C A C okay whole phrase yeah then you go that's a little lick over there to get to the next chord A A B flat A A flat A okay That's it. Then you land on a B flat sus chord, which is actually an A flat major seven over B flat. So that's A flat C, E flat G over B flat, and you could add the five over here if you want. So, and then we're gonna do another lick inside of that chord. So actually, only chord notes, as you see, you go from that E flat. That's where you start and where you end, take note. Then you go to the top note and walk all the way down, so. Yeah. And then back to the E flat. Actually pretty simple. Okay. Then. So again, only chord notes over there. Twice the bottom and walk up to the E flat again. Then we're gonna do this. Now this is technically might be a little bit difficult, but take note if you know the chords and it, it's just walking down. First chord is the same chord as what we started with, only now one octave up. You see that D minor nine over there. is as mentioned D minor 9 then an E minor 7 which is actually this is your regular E minor at the 7 I leave out the root sort of a G chord over E then over to an F chord just a regular F and then invert it down that F so then we have okay slowly 
what you're going to do is you're going to walk okay so that's actually super simple you just start at the top note and walk down only at the first chord you had four notes right so you just hit those the bottom and the top one simultaneously which you could also do for the second chord, by the way, if you know, if you like. If you, if they, this is too difficult, then just do this. Or maybe that is a good first step to practice it. Okay, but then you're gonna go. And to the starting chord again. One more time this. Again, you walk down that those chord notes, and then you do G sus. So that's F major seven over G to a C. Okay, then we're there. If this went too fast, rewind the video, maybe slow it down. We're gonna continue on to the next part. We've landed on C. Now, <clears throat> the technique for this next part is first of all stride piano as it's called which means bass note chord with the left hand okay that is super difficult if you're not used to it but it's a really good exercise so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna show you that part because the melodies arise evolve sort of so to speak from the, those harmonies played with the left hand so first three chords of that new part which is this part I'll first show it I'll play it in the whole so you know where we are um, Okay, that's the part I'm gonna show you. The first chord is a C chord. What we're doing is hit C's in octaves and then jump to a C in second inversion over here. This is your regular C, first inversion, second inversion. So boom, done. To the next chord, which is an E chord. So then we're doing the same principle, hitting E's to the first inversion E here. Okay, first two chords after one another. E to an a minor same principle but now the root position a minor over here first three chords after one another okay so the last two chords are uh, not in the same rhythm but you'll grasp that as we go along and i'll play it for you uh, and also no more Stride piano there, but just a G minor with your left hand, G, B flat, D, and then a C7, which you could also voice like this. Then I'm going to add the right hand. So we have just landed on a C chord, right? So the, the concept is that this is the melody note, right? Is what you want to play, but we're filling it up with chord notes underneath. So... It's gonna get a little more complicated, but in the end, actually, maybe not so much because same, same as you see, and you just hit that twice, and that as that note is on top, it will sound more distinctly than the others or the most distinct. So, yeah, that's the first phrase over the C. Then, as you hit the low E over here, because I just showed you, yeah, we're gonna do that, you're gonna hit the chord over here, which is G sharp B and D, which actually is just the top of the E7 chord, okay? You might hit that one, but I don't do that, actually, Billy himself doesn't do that as well on the record, so... The phrase over E is simultaneously, again, that's the basics you can do, or, yeah, it's just important that you do, and whatever notes you place underneath it doesn't really matter, you can do, or, or, all good, okay? 
however full you want to make it. Because, another side note, Billy Joel also doesn't actually play the exact same part every time he plays it live. You know, it's a concept. If you know your chords, your patterns, your licks and whatever, and you're comfortable within the key, then um, you can just improvise on this. I just, I copied as much as possible from the original record, but, you know, just to show you a couple of alternatives, uh, that side note. First two chords again, C. Then there's a little lick over there. Place your fingers like this. This is what we're gonna play. So thumb on the C, in uh, ring on the uh, E, and then E flat D. That's what we're gonna do. And once you hit that C, you're gonna cross over your index and your ring over there to play. As you see, if these two are on there, then these two are above that, and that's easy to play. Okay? That third, little bluesy third lick. So the whole lick. Okay? But -da -da -da. once you hit those, then you're gonna, gonna hit that. And then we're gonna play. Yeah, so, and then we have that whole phrase. So the left hand did what I just showed you. Uh, just from here, A minor chord, and then Simultaneously, that chord over here, add the 7 over here. For the rest, it's the same chord, just move that one over there. C7, the 1 and the 5, as I just showed you. The rest of the chord is going to play, be played with the right hand. E, G, B flat, C. Then we're going to go to the next part. That's an F chord. Boom, boom. F's with your left hand. You can play an upbeat over here or just play the chord down. And then we're going to do the same principle. So I'm going to explain in the same way as well. We're going to bounce. Okay. Again, the stride piano thing. So first the left hand. So we, we land on boom. Then we're going to go to an F chord over here. Play either this one, four notes, or the first inversion. Whichever feels good to you. Make sure it's an F. So boom. Then an A7. So this is a regular A. This is a 7. I'm going to play that over here. Boom. To a D minor 7. <clears throat> okay? Those are the first three chords after one another. Again, F, boom, A, boom, D, boom. The right hand is going to play the first chord simultaneously with the low Fs over here in the middle. The concept is very similar. The, actually, the melody is just transposed to another key here, and that makes it graspable, recognizable for our ears, but also, if you approach it like that, then you know where to play what, okay? If this is jibber-jabber, then disregard that remark. Simultaneously, in thirds, then we're gonna hit the A7 with the low A's, and I'll leave out that one, as does Billy. Boom. So actually, as you see here, that A7, resolving to the root over there, that's the same as what we did over there just, okay? With the E, when we got... Okay, so again, the... Same lick over here, but now start on and that's what we just did over there, right? If we translate it, but now we're gonna D minor chord. So this is if you would play this D minor seven like this and play the not the root but the seven over here, then. Sort of a B7, 9, B9, B flat 9. I'm sorry, but I'm 
not we're not playing that one, but so it's actually just two then. So from that D minor, yeah. Land on a C, an E, a flat ten, so E, a G sharp, D, E, and a G, which is the flat ten, and a seven, okay. A flat minor nine to a G, so well, C six over G. Then, um, okay, this this is actually sort of, you can see it as a new chunk, a new part. So the root notes are going to do this. Okay, those are the chords, actually, even all the way down to D. Here we go. Next chord, then you do. So it's, again, in the chord. Next chord. All chord. On the F, we're going to do this. Very similar to the starting lick, right? Okay, so... And then, this is gonna sound funky, but... So... That is, uh, over at the D9, we're gonna play a lick over here. Just keep these notes underneath your fingers, and this one is a very important one because, you know, the very recognizable thing is actually just this. For the first time, we're gonna not, not use that C, but know that it is sort of this A minor at two or at nine, okay? And then voice it like this. What we're gonna do over at this D9 is, so, bottom, top, middle, back to the top, and roll down the whole chord. Then we're gonna play an F minor, uh, F major 9. F major 7, 9, root position. Play a lick over here. So that's actually all in the chord except for that slide note over here. Pretty simple actually, yeah, so. Again. So over at G, just play a G and an F or add that one, doesn't really matter. Once you hit that, then you play, you keep that G over there and play a slide note from that E flat to an E. Again. Okay, and then. So that is the exact same thing as here, right? That voicing is super important. Get it in your fingers. This is a thing that is also exactly copied over there. That's that thing. B, C, and A, and just with ease, circled around with ease. To a D9 again, and then indeed, yeah, or you could do, he also varies a bit with that in rhythmic terms. Then you go back and do the exact same thing over A again. on a G this time is G, G, A, C, F over G, and then roll chromatically. And we are at the start of the verse, which consists of the same chords only played. I'm not gonna show you that for this video because it's already long enough. 
a lot of info in there. I hope it was graspable. I did my best to repeat and go back and go slow uh, as much as possible. But I also didn't want to make it an hour long lesson. So that was it for this tutorial, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up, like it, share it. Get over to my website if you want to learn how to approach the piano like this through chords. And everything uh, originates from those chords. All the licks, all the everything, just like Billy Joel plays himself. Then maybe uh, get on my newsletter, get on my free course. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.